let's come back and start with the next important topic of your equilibrium that is solubility product first we'll understand this concept and then start doing, doing some numericals based on this from all from 2002 to 2016 right so now in solubility product when i have to speak what actually is solubility product first of all let us understand now what am i going to do i'm going to take a saturated solution right so hope you all know what is saturated solution what saturate of saturated solution of which one i'm going to take saturated solution of sparingly soluble electrolyte i'm going to take this okay sparingly soluble electrolyte done so now what is the electrolyte which i've taken the, let us name the name of the electrolyte is ab now so this ab first of all is in solid state okay i'm going to take this solid state later i'm going to dissolve this and when i dissolve this <coughs> okay this is dissolved still it is not ionized it's still compact together further when this completely starts dissolving it dis starts dissociating to ions that is a plus cation and b minus anions okay these two are ions done now i have to write or uh, take the equilibrium constant for this k is equal to concentration of a plus and concentration of b minus divided by product by reactant a b correct yes now indirectly what does this mean if i cross multiply with this concentration of a cation into concentration of anion is equal to k into a b right done yes now if i have if i if we speak in terms of this if a b is a constant right we are going to take this as a b uh, as a constant let us take this a b constant which is equal to let us assume a b is a constant and take this as k prime then this becomes a plus and your anion charge which becomes equal to k k prime k k prime is equal to k s p that's it this is your solubility product now what is a solubility product this is represented as sp means solubility product now how am i defining solubility product first of all now again this is a new constant this is one constant this is one more constant this is new constant again how is it defined it is a product of the molar concentrations of <coughs> molar concentration of its uh, like each ion what, what ion molar concentration of ions in which state are these ions they are in the saturated solution they are present in the saturated solution we said yes in which the concentration term is raised to the power equal to the number of ions the concentration terms raised to the power equal to the number of ions present in the equation so uh, number of ions present in the chemical equation okay it is again i am defining ksp is a product of the molar concentrations of the ions these are present in the saturated solution and each is raised to the power of their <coughs> this is number of ions okay what am i trying to explain this i am trying to explain basically let me take an example and see so when i have to take an example of ksp you will understand clearly how to do this so suppose if i have one example right a silver chloride is one example right silver uh, uh, bromide okay right or uh, barium sulfate okay all i'm taking one cation one anion now for this ksp is equal to one cation one anion so it is two one plus one two let us take one more example now what type is this this is ab type one cation one anion now suppose if i take a b two type okay let let lead chloride in that way right so let me take this is example one this is example two if i take pbcl2 zncl2 ag2co3 h2s right right so now in this particular thing it may be like both the ratio one is to one is to two or two is to one both the ratio is not a problem so then ksp for this becomes each raised to the power of their this in charge isn't it right this becomes 4s cube suppose if i have to write a b3 type it is one is to three type examples aluminum chloride ferric hydroxide all these here when you raise the charge of that in cubit what do you get ksp becomes equal to 27 s raised to the power of 4 suppose if you take one more where you are going to take type a to b to type 2 is to 2 type ratio like sb to s3 
here in this case ksp if you raise the power you will get equal to 108 s5 this is how you are going to write right so s is a solubility correct so what is the solubility unit now solubility is <coughs> we can write it as s is equal to mole per liter right now this is how you're going to run, learn the solubility product simple isn't it now let us come back and do one more concept that is your listen okay let's come back and do ph scale now so what actually is ph scale if i have to say simple isn't it you have seen the ph um, meter also ph paper also in your lab so sorensen has defined this ph uh, of a solution uh, what is this it is equal to ph is equal to negative logarithm of h plus ion concentration which can be written as log 1 divided by h plus correct yes now if i have to like write under base 10 h plus ion concentration is equal to s of minus ph done so decrease in ph unit corresponds to 10 means uh, if the ph unit is uh, decreased that means the ph unit corresponds to in the acidic, acidic nature increases 10 times remember that if the ph value uh, single ph one ph value single ph unit decreases that means the acidic nature increases 10 times okay right remember this concept now suppose if i have to do the poh concept let me take poh concept when i have to speak about poh concept <coughs> what is the formula poh is equal to negative log of oh minus concentration which is nothing but log as we have written 1 divided by OH minus correct so how can I write this I can write it as OH minus is equal to 10 folds of POH the same concept now we also have studied PW is equal to PH plus POH which is equal to 14 how many degrees at 25 degrees centigrade done so now what should you remember the certain formulas which you should remember for this ph for uh, calculating the numericals so we'll be learning ph for monobasic acid we'll be learning ph for monobasic base okay let us write so the first formula you should remember is ph of uh, weak monobasic acid formula is ph is equal to half of pKa minus log C. Now the other way if I have to take I am taking the second one. Now I am speaking about POH of a weak monobasic weak monobasic base. So what is the formula? POH is equal to half pKb minus log C okay the same thing which is the pk for mono basic acid so mono basic acid we took it as pka for mono basic uh, base we took it as uh, pkb done yes if i have to write ph is equal to 14 minus poh what is poh this value so i'm going to substitute that value 14 minus half into pkb minus log c correct now so total value so this is you can use it for the numericals also total OH minus in a mixture of weak in a mixture of weak bases one more formula which you can remember which you should remember is root kc1 plus k root k1 c1 k2 c2 so remember this so if you know this basic idea of ph and poh and solubility product we'll start doing certain numericals which are given in your uh, uh, ge papers right so with the basic formulas which we have studied for solubility product ph and poh let us come back and solve the numericals which are given in your uh, papers now <coughs> what did they give this particular question is picked up from a triple e 2004 let us read this question here they've given us 
the molar solubility that is mole per liter as we have learned the formula of a sparingly soluble salt okay that is of type mx4 ab4 is s okay this so the corresponding solubility product is ksp okay we have studied this also s is given in terms of ksp by the relation okay we have already solved for uh, type isn't it ab2 ab ab2 b2 this one and ab4 we have done that so they are asking us to think how to solve they, they are expecting us to write in relation between s and ksp for this particular thing for mx4 done so let us take for example if i have to solve this for first of all let me consider a b and iterate so this a type i am not mentioning a, a a b x and this is y when this dissociates this dissociates into a plus b the coefficients are written like this now when i have to write the solubility product of that as we have defined in the definition x raised to power x y raised to power of y s x plus y so like this also so now let us take mx4 now mx4 is a so this one which they have given us this dissociates into m plus 4 plus 4 x minus now here x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 so now what is the solubility product ksp is equal to 4 this one raised to the power of 4 and 1 raised to the power of 1 is now the same thing just like this x raised to the power of x 4 raised to the power of 4 right y raised to the power of y and 1, 1 raised to the power of 1 s is like this 4 plus 1 that is 5 so ksp is equal to if i have to solve this you're going to get uh, this one as 256 s5 s is equal to ksp by 256 1 that's it so this is the answer which we have got so what is the correct uh, option for this now when i have i have got this answer and i see not the first one not the second one not the third one not the thing this is the correct option D. Yes. Right. Let's come back and do one more numerical that is uh, which is like based on your uh, if I have to say uh, the fine formation or the the same question based on pH value. So they, they are asking us to find the pH value for the given thing. Let us read. Hydrogen ion concentration is in mole per liter in a solution of pH 5.4. H plus ion concentration the pH is 5.4. Right. Simple. Let us start solving the numerical. So first of all <coughs> we will write the formula we have learned h plus is equal to 10 times ph this is what we have said said one decrease it the acidity increases tenfold correct now take log on both the sides log on both the sides log h plus is equal to this becomes ph log 10 now this carries forward log h plus right so now how much is the ph given to us it is 5 minus that is 5.4 minus is already there 0.4 log 10 is 1 so this becomes 5.4 so now h plus is equal to anti log when this goes the other way this becomes anti log minus 5.4 you can write this as 1 divided by anti log 5.4. So when I divide this and find the anti log, which I've already done on video based how to find the log in anti log. So when you get this, you get H plus concentration is equal to 3.98 into 10 raised to minus 6 molar. Please watch that video where I've taught you how to do the anti log part. So 3.9 in 10 to the minus 6. So the option is 3.9 in 10 to the minus 6 molar. The first option is correct. Let us come back and do one more question. Here, uh, a bit uh, linked with the buffer solutions. 
okay not a problem here they've uh, given us <coughs> the pka of a weak acid ha is 4.5 and the poh of an aqueous preferred solution of ha uh, uh, in which 50% of the acid ionized is okay so the, what are they what are they asking us they are asking us to find out how much is the poh of the aqueous preferred solution so basically there are two three methods to do this i felt this is the easiest way applying the formula directly just see so for buffer solution when i have to take i'm applying the formula directly and doing it for buffer solution we have a formula ph is equal to pka plus log salt by acid which is equal to now how much is the pka value given to us 4.5 plus log salt by acid done now they said if ha is 50% ionized is 50% ionized they said okay if it is 50% ionized then what will happen salt is equal to acid correct 50% ionized means salt concentration is equal to acid concentration exactly half of that isn't it when you go in the pH scale so this becomes pH is equal to 4.5 plus 0 okay because this is equal to this because 50% ionized so 4.5 plus 0 so this becomes 4.5 now we will even know since pH plus POH is equal to 14 so POH is equal to 14 minus 4.5 which is equal to 9.5 that's it so the answer is 9.5 the correct option is this